Good evening and welcome to the highlights of the Hexagon Telford Tigers versus the Milton Keynes Lightning. We're here tonight before the Milton Keynes Lightning fan with the Telford Tigers fan. Good evening, how are you? I'm okay, thanks. Have you had a good Christmas? Lovely, yes, yes. And you're here tonight to watch uh, Telford versus Milton Keynes. What's your predictions? Definitely a Telford win. Definitely. 3-1, maybe 4-1. Maybe 4-1. Good evening, we're here tonight with Telford fan Lindsay Silverthorne and her lovely daughter. Good evening guys, how are you? Good. Very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Have you had a good Christmas? Yes. Did Father Christmas bring you everything you wanted? Yeah. Come on, the villa! <laughs> um, what's your predictions on tonight's match? I think it's going to be a tight game. Um, Milton Keynes are very good. They've really stepped their game up in the last couple of weeks. Um, I think bringing in Stuart's made a huge difference from them. But I'd like to think our guys will come through in a tight game tonight, though. Um, and obviously we won last night as well, and Swindon did. But do you think we're going to win the league this year? Do you think we, it's ours to lose? I think yes. it's early days still. A lot can happen in the second half of the season. I'd like to think we can keep up there, but any team can beat MD on any given night. So, Are you, are you proud of your daddy? Yes. He plays very well. Yeah. <laughs> Is he your number one Tigers fan? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you ever so much for talking to us tonight, and we'll see you again soon. Right, so we got Plant, Florian, Silverthorn, McKinnon, and Rose. No, we haven't. They've changed it. So we got Mitchell, Smith, McKenzie. Smith. Oh. And away comes Dan Mitchell. Round one. Dan Mitchell lines it up. Oh, just couldn't get it through to Finley Howells. Great effort there by Dan Mitchell. Milton Keynes shoot in. Whoa. And I think Kana is a bit feisty already. Picked up Kana. Shot by Yeri and it's gone over. Pate by there. Finn Howells working hard. And away. Big hit there. Picked up by McKinnon. Taylor. Oh. And Taylor comes away. And this is what you get from a Dean round like that. Jameson tries to hook him. Great bit of play there by Tails. And McKinnon. It's icing. Rose picks it up, looks up, sends it back to McKinney. McKinney now with Russell and Carlon. And they're all over him. Danny Rose covers. Great bit of covering there. And it's working hard, Jack Watkins, Rose went for the end, Stewart now, Liam Stewart. Watkins puts him off. And it's in. 
at the back post. By Harry Ferguson, I think. Aston, Goodison, Goodison shoots just out the wide. Still, Silverthorne, Florian, Florian, oh, Florian, it's got to be. McKinnon, great save by Brad Day. Great save. Smithy. Oh, another penalty coming for Telford. So, Telford have another penalty. Florian will chase. Russell shoots it, and it's off the line. Great bit of play there. And Telford about Leonard. Ferguson. And it's in again. 2 0, MK. McKinnon will get to it. Liam Stewart lines it up, sends it in. It's wide. And away comes James Smith. Still James Smith. Smith. Oh, great block there. Aston could have put that in. That's two chances already for Telford. And they haven't capitalised. McKenzie behind the net. <coughs> Just can't get to it. Tails into Andy McKinney. Andy McKinney. Andy McKinney. Andy McKinney. What a goal. Great goal from Andy McKinney. And McKinnon will skate hard. <laughs> Dear me, I don't know why McKinnon sent it round there like that. He sent it round, straight to their player. And away comes Telford. Smithy battling hard. Flicks it over. And it's away by young Finley Howells now. Turns. Watkins picks it up. Just inside, just can't get to it. Gary just sends it through. And it's through Tanaka. 
And Tanaka finishes. It's 4-1 here. And Telford are all over the place. Got number four for the Milton Keys Lightning. Scorpion number 13 from 17 at 30-34. 13 from 17 at 30. MK look hungry for this. And they lose a face off again, and it's another goal. From outside the blue line. It's 5 1. Right, so we change the netminder and tell for the go again. Smithy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and it's a great goal! Oh, and it's away, and Stewart one on one with Massimo, and Matt saved it. Great play there by Matt, stood up big. We've got three minutes to go in the second, 5 2 down. Tanaka shoots it, Agostini saves it. And that's a great bit of play there by Massimo. And it goes inside now to Watkins, shoots it. Smith will pick it up. Oh, big hit on Smith. Big hit on Smith. And I think it's going to get a bit of feisty. No. Florian. Oh, it's in. Great goal, Telford. By Joe Aston. Plant. Smith looks up, settles it down. And away we go. Smith and McKenzie just broke. Great save, Mass. Still Florian. Into the corner, out to the camp to McKinnon. Sends it in, and it's stopped by the skate again. Florian, still Florian, battling hard. 
out to McKinnon, shoots it one time, and it's a glove save. Great save by Mass. And it's wide. Sent again. See that. I think that's going to be it. Smithy will chase. Still Smithy. Oh! And Smithy's grabbed out of someone. And Smithy's grabbed out of Carlon, I think. It's Smithy and Carlon. And Smithy's got him out. And Smithy's got him out. <laughs> Smithy. Ladies and gents, we're here tonight with uh, Telford's man of the match, Massimo Agostini. Good evening, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Um, um, happy how you played? Yeah, uh, perfectly happy. Uh, did what I could. Um, bit of an unlucky goal power play for the um, MK. Couldn't do much about it. Lies me. Um, pleased you eventually got your going nets. Yeah. It's been a long time this season. Yeah, it's been a long wait, but um, rightly so. I did a good job and deserved the uh, the play, man of the match. And I think also the fans loved it when, when they saw you go in, in goal. I think they understand it's a hard time being a number two backup goalie, especially when Brad's been playing so well. But you stepped up, you came in, you did what you had to do. And I, I think you enjoyed it, did you? I absolutely loved it. It was great. Um, great ambience. Uh, lovely. Um, did what I could, again. You know, <laughs> don't know what else to say, like... Hey, brilliant, mate. Thanks for taking time to speak to us tonight. Well done on your man of the match, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Absolutely. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Good evening, ladies and gents. We're here tonight with uh, Telford head coach Tom Watkins after the defeat by MK Lightning. Um, what's your thoughts on that? I don't like losing. Um, it happens. It's part of the game, and I don't like losing at home. I thought we had a great crowd in the building tonight, a great atmosphere. And to be fair, I can't fault the boys tonight. We, I don't think we're great through the first period. Our power plays struggling at the minute, and these things happen. And we are short, and we are banging up. You know what? Our commitment, our desire, our hunger for the two of the three periods were exceptional. I thought we we dominated possession, we dominated end zone. I don't know what shots were. We missed some really clear-cut opportunities around the front of the net. At uh, I think it was 5-3. It makes it a 5-4 game if it goes in. You know, I, 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 I can't fault the effort of the boys tonight. When we were pushing hard through the second, we made probably two, three lapses that they capitalised on. And I think today we didn't capitalise on the chances that we were given. But again, the, the, the desire to compete, um, to, to skate, to, to work for another, I thought was, uh, was pretty solid all round tonight. And 
it, it's hard when you got a good building in here and, and the fans got behind the boys when they saw the effort there in the second period. And that, and that kicks everybody on. And I, I, personally, I don't think we deserve to lose. But if you give up six, you're going to lose. And, uh, but we always felt we had a bit of a chance and uh, had a couple of penalties that, that, that kept us on the back foot. And if, if our special teams are a little bit strong tonight, it's a different game of hockey. But you know what? It's hockey and, and we move on. I was going to say that. Do you think we did take some silly penalties? A couple of the first two were uh, what hooks and, and trips or something. So you're behind the play. Call them lazy penalties if you want, but um, it, it happens. And you know we're, we're playing with a number of guys out. We've got guys in different positions tonight, and I thought those guys really excelled. Um, penal penalties are part of the game for both ways. We had our chances power play, and we didn't cap on the power play, and we didn't capitalise. Great to see Massimo tonight get between the pipes and uh, you know prove that he can play and, and, and make a difference for the boys and. Uh, good for the kid he works hard for the team he's, he's here for every practice and it's nice to see him get some minutes so next week another game you think we'll uh, bounce back yeah we'll bounce back we've got a good record of uh, of, of not um, I think not going down back to back and uh, hopefully we get a few more of the boys back and, and into the lineup you see Lordy will be away with GB 20s whatever happens so good luck to him but we've got a good group and um, you know what Compare us with some other clubs, we're totally overachieving compared to some other clubs who I think are totally underachieving. But that's down to our commitment and, and the character we've got within that dressing room. We've played with seven guys short for seven weeks. Midpoint in the season to be where we are, fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much for spending time with us tonight. Sorry about the loss, but I'm sure we'll uh, get it back next week. And uh, we'll see you soon.